Hi everyone, so I just wanted to jump on here really quickly to show you how to use a fan brush. I'm going to paint a pine tree and some grass with my fan brush today. The fan brush I'm using is synthetic hair, so it's very, very soft, but it works really well with acrylic, which is what I'm using today. So you want to start with a dry fan brush for the pine tree and the grass that we're going to paint first of all. So if you wet your fan brush, what tends to happen is the hairs start to clump together, which will naturally happen when you add paint, but you want to try and keep it as dry as possible. So you've got all these nice little bristles separated as much as we can. So we don't want to create ourselves extra work just yet. So I want you to take your fan brush and we're going to paint the pine tree first. And I just want you to dip your fan brush into your paint straight on the top just there. I want you to sit some paint straight on. So you want to dip your fan brush in your paint like so and you can wipe off any excess you like. Just gently slide it on either side and then we've got a nice amount of paint on. So the first thing we want to do is create the trunk of the tree. So how big or small or if it's leaning to one side, this is where you're going to really get to play around with the shape of your tree before you started filling in all the branches and the leaves. So we're just going to use our brush straight against the paper and we're going to lightly tap and bring it up or to the side, whichever way you want your tree to sit. So now we've got a nice basis for our brain. We, we know where our tree is going to be. It simplifies things for us. So now let's start getting them branches and them leaves. This all sort of happens at once, which is brilliant with the fan brush. It's quite easy to use. We want to get the paint on one of the tips of the fan brush. So just pick a side and pop your brush in that paint. And then if you get quite a lot of paint on like this, just make sure you wipe it off. Brilliant. So we know that we've got a nice amount of paint on this side. So the trick is you want to hold your fan brush and lightly tap from side to side. Now, as you're doing that, you're going to be traveling down the tree and creating the shape as you tap away. If you want your branches pointing upwards, then you're going to use your brush like a smiley face. See how that's in a smiley face shape. If you want your branches pointing downwards, you do the opposite. You're going to use your fan brush with an upside down smile. And then you've got the option of just using it straight onto the paper. So you're not angling it too far up or too far down. So depending on how you use your brush, you can create the branches that you like. So we're going to start gently tapping. So if you look at a pine tree at the top, there's not much going on. We've just got a few little branches here. So we just want to gently tap a few from either side and gradually bush the tree out as we come further down. So I'm just going to tap from side to side and just start creating that little bit of branch at the top. So this, I've not gone in too heavy at all and we can always layer on if we want more. So now I'm going to start bringing them out and I'm just moving my brush from left to right as I do so. Just like that. And you might need to dip your brush into your paint for a few times because the paint will be coming off your brush as you paint. So if I show you, if I point my brush up, you will see the branches go nice and up like that. And if I point my brush down, we get quite the opposite effect. You see how that's left a lovely gap here. Play around with the angle of your brush. So you're just going to gently tap in where you want all them branches to be. If you want gaps within your branches, you just leave quite a bit of room. So you're sort of making like a zigzag shape. Perfect. The 
lovely. So that is one layer of paint and we can keep going with paint. We can fill the tree out even more. We can add some nice white to our green or whatever colour you might be using to really hit them nice light points. We can make sure that we've got quite a few branches bushed out on one side if it's more heavier on one side. But the more you play with it, the more it starts to come to life. Lovely. Perfect. So now it's time for grass. I'm going to wipe my brush in the paint at a 45 degree angle to make sure I've covered my brush with paint. Just going to wipe off the excess so there's no big clumps. And this is one way to do grass quite short. So you're going to angle your brush again at a 45 degree angle to your paper and push up. And as you push up, the bristles will separate like so, like this. And surely you'll start to create grass. Perfect. And the other way that you can do grass, now you want to wet your brush for this one. So you want to get a nice wet brush, give it a bit of a drying off. You see the bristles are quite um, clumped together there. And just guide that through your paint, wiping it again back and forth and you want it quite heavy with water so I've just gone in and added some more water I'm going to wipe off the excess so now we've got less paint on but the paint we have got on is quite wet so you're just going to lay that down at 45 degree angle and just pull it up and this is grass is really good if you want the grass that's quite up close you can even use it to its side if you want single strands of grass. You can even make like nice little waves like that. So it's also good for hair too. So they're my quick little tips today. I hope you enjoyed them and let me know how you get on if you've got a fan brush in the comments.